Alright, hey everybody, uh, my name is Brian and what I'm doing here is I want to show you guys exactly on how to stamp multiple photos at once uh, with a watermark. So I, I know a lot of you guys might have some photos out there um, and you just want to put a watermark on them to uh, do some type of copyright to them. So um, first thing first is you're going to need a program called I Am Batch. Right, and you can go to this website here. I'll also put it in the description, and you can go there and you can download the program. It's a free program, um, and what it allows you to do is it allows you to batch together all your photos that you have. It doesn't matter the amount, and it will automatically add a watermark to whatever area you want. Um, and so, once you download it, right, you'll simply install it, and then this is what the program looks like. So um, I'll show you exactly on how to do it. So when you come in here, uh, what you want to do is you want to drag and drop some photos. So the first thing is let me drag some photos in here that I have. We'll just use these three here. And you can see I dragged them right there. Right, so now you got the photos in here. Um, another thing that you can do is you can preview the images. So you can see what exactly is going on. Oh, let me make it smaller so you can still see. Alright, then what you want to do is you'll come over here where it says add task right you come over to the annotate and you'll add watermark you see I already have watermark there um, so you don't need to do it right then it's gonna ask you um, right which files you wanna uh, what do you want the file names to be right you can change the transparency of the photos you can um, change the orientation the mode right you can sample you can change how big you want it to be you can change where you want it to be justified and all that good stuff so let me see if I can get the the image previewer to work so you can see what I'm talking about There you go. Show the preview pane. So this is what it looks right now, right? And if I want to, um, if I want to pretty much uh, make that smaller, what I would do is come over here and let's just change everything to a hundred percent. right and this is where you actually choose your watermark so let's say I want this watermark here um, come over here and go with this one right fresh it you can change the transparency all right you can say and you can see here's the before and then here's the after now obviously I want to make that a little bit smaller so I just like I said I'll just keep messing with it uh, if I want to do a little bit more let's say say 40 percent right that looks about fine right there you go and you see now I have a watermark on the photo 
and if I wanted to be a little bit more transparent I would just simply dial it back so alright so you do that and then ideally what you would like though is you want to have a photo that's like 1200 by 790 just the, the bigger that resolution, the better the, uh, it'll work for the photo. But for this instance, you can see that it's still working. Right? After that, you'll just simply, uh, you also want to go up here, add save as. And what this will do is just let you know where you want to save the photos to. And so you'll come here, right? It'll even let you pick what type of photos you want to save. So you do all that, right? I usually save it as like a PNG, right? Uh, and then bam, you're done. And then you come over here and you'll just simply run batch imaging process. And when you hit that, it'll save. I'm not gonna do it right now just because I don't wanna really do those photos. Um, but that's it, that's how you do the batch process and so with that uh, said, if you um, have some questions, feel free to comment, but also I'll have uh, the link in the video in the description where you can actually download the software. So hope that helps. Enjoy and have a great day.